two in Bangkok and technically day one because I got late in the evening here so it's around it's just 10 past 9 ish here I got my breakfast got some makeup done because I went to the breakfast with a bare face and I well to tell you the truth going on a, on a trip and not taking it like a spoolie brush with you makes like brushing your doing your eyebrow a lot harder and um, I'll have this whole day for myself and I'll try not to get a heat stroke walking around so I have to be back in the hotel around 7 or 6 p.m. 6 to 7 p.m. and that's one hour behind UB so that makes the day longer yes it makes the day longer so good for that my first purchase yesterday was this whatever t-shirt from Zara and I bought those like midi rings from Forever 21 which are cute comment me what to do in Bangkok if you have been here before and yeah I'll be here until next Tuesday morning so I have a week here hey guys I went out to find Jim Thompson's museum this is you know like the creator of Thailand Thai silk in the street kind of way and since then I bought a, ben a bronzer from Benefit and now I found this I'll try not to do some damage you know, small damage at least I found Madame Tussauds here so I guess you go down and into that elevator anything and who's that? Who is that? I'm not going in because mom will be so pissed if I go in alone. So I'm, we're gonna come back together. <laughs> so I found the, the Jim Thompson's silk museum, Jim Thompson House Museum kind of thing, and apparently they are cost they cost. 100 baht per adult but under 25 it's 50 percent off so i definitely got this show to you look at this this is a hook in the bathroom how tight is that um, i'm in the museum so they have this guided tour about 40 minutes long and what the girl said to me was there's going to be 16 people in a tour maybe probably might have been 60 but i hope it's 16 because yeah, I have to wait for the my group, it's group J, um, so 16 people tour group J, I'm waiting for the people around to come around, so I guess we're going to start, with, so it's 12, 12.30 and here's 12.45, so I've got to wait about 15 minutes for my tour maybe, like that. Okay, we're in the house. Apparently it took one year to build from 1958 to 1959 as of the tour guide said. That's our tour guide. Okay, I'm outside the big house, the main house where he used to live. I mean, Jim Thompson. And we can't take photos inside. Jim Thompson collected a lot of China. From, bought from Chinese people which really resemble you know that big pots that we use for Attic aka for Method Mary's Milk that during the Lunar New Year festival like those big pots he has those things here and apparently it was used during the sailing season to carry on the ship he built this like this whole complex from six different smaller houses and he was born in a year of course which is the same as me and he disappeared at the age of 61 when he's in a year of course which aka like a bad luck thing I found the gym room there is a Buddha and look at his face you can see he say it's a Buddha because of his right hand and he is like prepared to bless other people and on the left hand he is supposed to carry a pot full of, full of springs so I'm not really sure if it's a Buddha or not because of the, the the missing pot. <laughs> oh. 
here's this picture of a guy, a blue guy. Usually it's always an evil guy, and I'm not, I'm not sure what he's trying to do, that woman with a big bosom. Oh, there's a two kid in there. There's always naked kids. I forgot to, forgot to show you the main patio, or patio, or the square, whatever you're gonna call it. And um, it's like a whole circle thing. Bless you, girl. God bless you again. Um, so you start the tour from here. And as you have seen, there is the Jim Thompson store. Let's go in. bus to take me and it's kind of just to take me to the main road from there I can manage myself and it was in three minutes <laughs> Yeah. 